Well, you weren't expecting another one of these today, were you? It is still just about Tuesday the 20th of June. And there's a couple of things that I would like to update you on since I did my last video and uploaded it. And it'll be a short video, but you couldn't wait till tomorrow. First of all, I noticed when I uploaded my video, I've got seven subscribers now. Woohoo! Can I believe it? For me, you are the magnificent seven. Thank you very much. Next, I did get another job after um, I last did a video. And on my bingo card of same day courier work experiences, this is a new one on me. So I have previously mentioned in a video, I'll be ticking off things that experienced couriers do. So for example, I've been to and waited for two and a half hours at a place near Stoke. I have I've forgotten. I forgot what the other ones are. <laughs> it's a bit late. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a bingo card metaphorically and I'm gonna tick them all off. But this is a backload that I'm doing. And uh, and it's the first time I've done a backload. Oh, the other things were going to Scotland, going to central London. Um, and some other things, yeah. Um, I um, got a backload rate. So, so on the CX system, there was a job that was advertised as a backload rate. And I'm always very wary of these. And, I did bid on them, but I often bid full amounts, and um, and I just assumed just to, just to do it to annoy the shipper, really. Um, but uh, on this occasion, because I was really wanted to get another job in today to make a bit more money, um, I put a bid in that was um, at what I would call backload rates. So it was uh, on the CX. It's 260 miles. It's going from London to Middlesbrough. Um, the, what I liked about it was it was going tonight, so I could get out of London, and it's delivering tomorrow any time between 9.30 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So to me, it's a genuine backload load. It's not, it's not a, yeah, it's not a, like a hot shot criteria, but just labelled backload. Um, so I bid £200, which I worked out to be around about 77p a mile, a loaded mile. And I thought I was happy with that. And if I got £200 on top of it today, I'd be happy with that. And it gets me out of London, which is the main thing, and out of London tonight. My alternative was to stay tramping and try and get a job in the morning, early, sort of 7 o'clock-ish, half past 6, 7 o'clock. And I was, and there's no, you know, I suppose a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, is the phrase that comes to mind. I've got a job now. Um, I, put, I, I, bid, I bid on it, I'm sorry, I bid on lots of jobs today, and I've now got one, and I'm very grateful for it, even though it's a cheaper rate. Um, as it turns out, my plan is going to make it even worse per mile rate. Um, my plan is actually to go home now and sleep in my own bed tonight, and then tomorrow head up to Middlesbrough and that will mean that my total mileage will not be 260 miles for this job it'll be more like 290 miles um, but I'm still happy with that plan um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good idea to get home if you can um, I don't mind working long hours but if I get sick in my own bed even after a long day that's that's, bad. that's good it's good for me at least yeah, so I think that was everything. Um, oh, yes, I was going to update you with my stats. I'm not going to change the stats in my previous video that I put in the description because all it's changing really is my time. Um, I won't be including the cost of this in today's earnings because I won't finish, finish the job until tomorrow. So I'm just going to tell you that my time now will be 
16 and a half hours work today, although some of that was sitting around trying to find a job in my tramping site. But technically I was still kind of working even though I wasn't driving. So by the time I get home, 16 and a half hours of work today, there'll be 402 miles that I would have driven. And that will mean that, according to my spreadsheet, I will have spent £58.53 on fuel give me a net earnings today of £206, which is okay, but the big thing is I'll be in my own bed and I'll have £200 tomorrow, already in the bag pretty much, and, and on my way to Edinburgh, which is what I want to do next, I want to get from here to Edinburgh for my um, job to come down, it's one stop in Edinburgh, back down to High Wycombe, um, for I'll tell, you the, I'll tell you the amount when I do the video for whenever I do it. So, that'll be that. It probably went on for a bit longer than I thought it was going to, but those are the main things. Thank you for watching this video and good night.